What's up? It's Wizard Fu, and this is another video in the Low Dragger 5 vs. 5 game development series. I'm working on frame buffer objects right now and getting the voxel engine to run with the frame buffer. Um, I had it uh, for a second there with. Uh, actually, the entire time I was working on the voxel engine in November, I didn't know that I wasn't actually running to the frame buffer. I had this crazy issue yesterday where the screen was looking weird and it led me to this solution. Let me show you what I found out. Um, so now the game is actually running with the frame buffer object and the pixel buffer object working in conjunction. In fact, I probably have too many frame buffers. I've got two frame buffers because that's how Songbringer worked. But now I've got this pixel buffer object with Loadragger, which has the, with the voxel 3D engine running um, to it. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's supposed to look like, actually. Um, the characters aren't supposed to be uh, animating so fast. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. But um, the, basically, the, the look is actually correct. Let's go and take a look at what it would look like if it wasn't correct. And this was the core of my issue before. So we're just going to recompile it there with um, initializing the frame buffer's camera with orthographic instead of default. I thought it was supposed to be orthographic because that's just how the game is. But what I needed was an orthographic, all I needed was an orthographic matrix for uh, using for my own basically voxel software renderer. Um, I didn't need to actually apply that matrix to um, the, the voxel engine. Okay, so that did not actually show what the problem was. Let's go see if I got an old screenshot of that or something. But, oh yeah, here we go. Um, here we go. This is what Okay, that's what it's supposed to look like. Here's what it was looking like for some reason. I'm not sure why it looked like this. But as you can see, here's the difference between that and this. Oops. Um, the problem was that it was actually applying the orthographic perspective twice. And because it was rendering once using the pixel buffer object into a draw node, basically a render texture. And then using that rend from that render texture, it would go to the frame buffer and this is what it would look like because the frame buffer had that certain camera and the voxel engine had that certain camera as well. It was doubling up the camera and you could see that the, like when a character moved across the screen, he would be moving like twice as far as he, he was supposed to. It was a weird issue because trying to affect the position didn't help it. Um, I knew it had something to do with the camera, but I wasn't sure until I finally found the issue where I was basically just needed to create um, a separate orthographic camera. Um, the separate camera is actually created in, oh, let's create, construct camera. Oh, it's not here. Uh, there it is. Okay, so this is where it just creates a, a separate camera simply for the voxel engine. In fact, I should probably move this code into the voxel engine so it has its own camera there. But it kind of makes sense to keep it here in Vue because Vue is responsible for creating the frame buffers and the other cameras that go in conjunction with the frame buffer. So, long story short, what all this means is that um, now the game is, engine is running much more smoothly as far as its frame rate goes. When I'm uh, normal in normal development, while I'm not streaming, I can get 60 frames a second now, which is freaking awesome. I was really wondering if I could ever do this with a voxel engine that had tiny voxels, basically 3D pixel art. And this is finally coming to fruition that it is possible. So I'm super excited about this. This is a huge step forward. What I got to do next, of course, is um, work on the animations. Something's weird with those. Their timing somehow went off. I'm not sure what how that all happened. Um, but the collision en engine is now in sync, like I'm in the right place. Oh, yeah, I need to fix up um, everybody's bounding boxes. So when a character rotates to the side, it doesn't actually rotate the limits of its bounding box, so that's not very hard to fix. Uh, and that should help with it leaving behind some pixels sometimes. Um, you see it like it left behind some pixels right there for this uh, AI player. Um, that should help getting a completely accurate bounding boxes. And uh, other than that, I'm just working on other uh, improvements to the performance of each system. Render system used to be using something like 500 milliseconds out of uh, of second so what you're seeing there is um, how many milliseconds the game tick is using out of one second so 
It's using a total of 800 milliseconds right now. Not too bad, but you can see the collision engine is using almost 200, which is a lot. And sometimes you can see the render engine using that much. And some, oh, the AI system is using over 200 as well, occasionally. I know there's a few issues here and there in the code, but basically, all the, once I get all those um, fixed up, look how fast he's moving his shoulders right now. I don't know what, what that issue is. It's so funny. I love it. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. Ah. Uh, anyways, there's stuff left to do, but this is a huge step forward in having a 3D pixel art engine. Oh, let's do one more one more quick thing. I want to show you what it looks like at the um, the angle that it will eventually start at. Um, my goal is to have the camera be able to rotate during gameplay so that you can rotate around and look at different angles because I want there to be stairs and uh, other things inside the arena so that you can go up and sort of down on slopes. And these 45 degree camera angles will probably look really neat. This gives you this, this nice isometric look shows off that it's 3D. Another thing I need to get going soon is uh, the shadows, then re-implement the dynamic shadows with the way the new voxel engine works. And you can see there's something weird when I'm heading north or south, it splits up his sword into two different voxels. So you can see there's a line of empty voxels in between the sword, and there shouldn't be. Um, it's some, somehow it's, it's, when it's computing its two-dimensional position for each three-dimensional voxel, it's uh, somehow splitting that sword in half and I'm, I gotta figure out that see how I can keep models from that ever happening that's that's because it's rotating the model at 45 degrees um, and not 90 so that should be something it, it seems like it's something to do with just using seal or floor but it wasn't quite that simple when I was ch when I was trying to look into it but anyways lots of issues but huge progress so that's it for this video thanks for watching I'm Wizard Foo making this 5 versus 5 game and it will be playable in quite some time. We'll see. How soon? See ya.